DaVinci Resolve doesn't have project files. DaVinci Resolve projects are stored in a project database. You can interact with this project database and your Resolve projects inside the project manager. That's this thing you see when you first launch Resolve, or you can get back to it using this button down in the corner. Here, you can open, organize, or duplicate projects. You can restore project backups and even jump between entirely separate databases. And then you can also backup and restore those databases. This is a DaVinci Resolve project file. Oh, huh. Yep, it says right there, DRP, DaVinci Resolve project file. And actually, now that I mention it, I have these other files over here, a DRT or DaVinci Resolve timeline file and a DRA, which is a DaVinci Resolve archive file. And hey, why not a DRB for a DaVinci Resolve bins file? Let's talk about it. These are not what I would call active or live files. When you create these files by exporting them out of an open Resolve project, which you can do using the file menu for timelines and projects, or the right click menu in the project manager for projects and project archives, you are creating a snapshot of that timeline or project at that exact moment. If you load these files into Resolve, of course, they will do different things. We'll get to those differences soon, but the behavior they share is that they load that specific snapshot they created back into the selected DaVinci Resolve database. From there, they can interact with that data or modify it further. But if they save that timeline or project, all of those changes are saved to that active database, not the project file. If after that, you try to load that exact same project file into Resolve again, you will create a new copy of that original snapshot, not including any of the changes you made before bringing it back into Resolve. If you want these files to reflect any additional change before they were originally created, you'll need to re-export a similar format after those changes have been made inside of Resolve and overwrite that previous file. Because of this, these files are best used as a sort of backup, although Resolve does have a separate backup feature for both timelines and projects, or for sharing or sending your projects and timelines between systems or users. But which of these files is best for your specific circumstances? Dance. Let's get into the details. DRT files store DaVinci Resolve timelines. This includes all of the edits you've made on your timeline, as well as any effects, color grades, or audio processing you've added. You can either load this file into the exact same project it came from, into a different project, or if you try to open this DRT without Resolve open at all, it will load that timeline into a new project with your default project settings. This DRT does not contain any media files. It does retain the file paths that were used in the original project. And if you open up a DRT on the computer it was originally created on, it's likely all your files will relink fine. However, if your media has changed location since exporting the DRT, or if you open that file on a new system, prepare for your media to be offline. Speaking of media, any linked media used on the timeline you export as a DRT will be brought back into Resolve and dumped into the master bin. Any existing bin structure will be lost. But that brings us to DRBs or DaVinci Resolve bins files. You can export a bin from an active project using the same file menu. And again, load that into an existing project or choose to load that file into a new blank project. As you might assume, instead of a single file being brought back into Resolve, it loads a single bin into the media pool. This can include the file paths to all the medias, just like a DRT. Again, this file does not include the actual media itself, but it can also include any number of bins organized any way you want inside that main bin, as well as any number of timelines or assets like compound clips, fusion compositions, or even the relatively new fusion referenced compositions. All of that, whether or not they are even being used on any of those included timelines. Side note, don't forget about power bins to store assets locally between all projects you create within a single database. Again, these files are best for backing up or storing data, not for individual editors doing regular work on a single system. So if a DRB can store just about everything you would do in a project anyway, when would you want to use a DRP or DaVinci Resolve project file instead? Especially when you can export a DRB from the master bin in itself from any project, I believe there's really only one big difference between the capability of DRB and DRP files. 
maybe two. First, DRP will include the project settings that you may have customized for any number of reasons, whereas DRB files, if loaded into a blank project, will use your default project settings. Second is the fact that you even have that choice with DRB files. You can load them into a blank project or you could load them into any other existing project. If you have a DRB with assets you want to load into any other current project, you can load that in at any time in your production. With DRP files, it's all or nothing. If you try to import or load a DRP with a project open in Resolve, it will open that DRP as a completely new project and close the project you were previously working on. With the sole exception, uh, possibly being if you have a dynamic project switching enabled. These DRP files, again, are also useful for backups or sharing projects, but they also are extremely useful for one other use case, project templates. Any project can be exported as a DRP. If your videos regularly reuse absolutely anything, multiple timelines of different resolutions, assets like animated openings or titles, color grading, audio processing, or even a simple bin structure, you can set up a new project to the exact starting point you would like for all future videos, export that as a DRP, and simply double click on the DRP when starting a new project to have all of that work done for you automatically. I've also made a video or two about this already, so a link to that will be in the description if you want more info. Every file format we've talked about so far shares one thing in common. They may include the file path to any media used on the timeline, bin, or project, but they don't include the media itself. For that, we need to continue on and talk about DRA, or DaVinci Resolve, archive files. Archive files can only be created from the project manager. Exporting an archive will generate a folder at the location you choose, which does include a DRP of your project, but it will also consolidate all of the media currently stored in your project and move that to a folder structure next to that DRP. And of course, the DRP also relinks to those new media locations. So if you send that DRA off to another user or system, they can load that DRP right up and continue working. You also have the option inside the project manager to right click and import a DaVinci Resolve archive. I am not sure if there's a pro and con between doing that or just loading the DRP file that lives inside of a DRA. This also makes the DRA an easier choice for, duh, archiving projects. But if you want to archive your completed projects this way, there is absolutely one other feature inside of Resolve you need to be familiar with, media management. Inside a Resolve project, if you go to File, Media Management, you will find this incredibly powerful tool. Now, this tool can do a lot, and I will also link down in the description an incredible video by Chadwick over at Creative Video Tips with a much more comprehensive look at this tool. But for our purposes, you need to know that this tool can consolidate all the footage you've actually used in a project to a single location, keeping you from needlessly archiving clips that you didn't end up using in your final project. Additionally, and this is just the coolest, media management can copy over the original clips you used to create the edit, but trim them just to the segments you actually used on your timelines. If you have an hour long recording, but only use 10 clips totaling 30 minutes, media management can cut up that original source file and only store the half you actually use. This option to include handles is super important if you want to include a little bit of wiggle room in the event you need to make small changes to timing or anything else in the edit at a later date. As you can imagine, this can dramatically decrease the actual storage space needed when archiving a project. So does DaVinci Resolve have project files? Yeah, but no.